Have you heard of this model? So she's a, she's a model, Instagram OnlyFans model, called the Uniboob Queen. No. You have not heard? Ziggy, have you heard of the Uniboob Queen? Uh, I did not until uh, today. Uh, yeah, I'll hail the Uniboob Queen. There she is. It, this is, seems to be quite a story that we're going to go on in the Man, next uh, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, this one's uh, interesting. So um, so there's this, this lady. Her name is Mary Mag... I don't know if it's Magdalene or Magdalene. Um, she's a 30-year-old girl from, from Canada. I thought for sure she'd be from Florida, but she's from Canada. And she's she really coming. well known. Pumps to what? I said she's probably gonna move there. <laughs> Maybe. Um, she's really well known. All roads lead to Florida. They do. All, all interesting stories all, all. originate from Florida. I know that for fact. Like, every time we do like a crazy story, it's like, wait, where was this? Florida. Um, sorry, Florida. I love you. I love vacationing there. It's yeah, I'm taking of... Avery to Disney World there. I know. So. I love Florida. It's just crazy thing. It's it's by the Bermuda Triangle, man. Like, it's something to do with that. I don't know. Where anyway, okay, it? back on track. So. She's from Canada. She's an Instagram OnlyFans model, which is just a big thing right now. And she's known for her crazy body modifications and plastic surgery, mm -hmm. right? As you could see from that from that picture. And this isn't the first time she's been in the news. Like when I was doing the research for this, she was actually in the news before. Throw up, throw up that picture. Yeah, there we go. I'm an OnlyFans model. I almost died trying to get the world's fattest vagina. <laughs> what? I mean, I, I, I wasn't sure if that, I'm not sure if that was real. Like, I mean, it seems real. Like, the article like seemed real. blood poisoning? I don't know what I, I could not, happen there. Well, that's it. That's a, I was still just confused about the whole fattest vagina thing. Like, I mean, the whole thing confuses me. I'm like, me. yeah, in what way? Like, yeah, I know, right? Like, I mean, there's just so many questions that spawn from that title. But anyway, if we're not even talking about that. was just like her prior, you know, news issue that's about crazy. her near-death experience from the uh, fat vagina treatment, which I'm unfamiliar with. I'm going to have to brush up on that. Please don't. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should ask my wife, you know, maybe it's like a GYN procedure. Like, I don't know if she like, you know, maybe my, maybe my OBGYN might know about that. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So that's like, the, that was the first story. But the story today that we're talking about is she's known for having 38 J breasts. So I got a picture there. Yep, there she is. And wow, that is really, really large. And I have a whole lot to say about that eventually, but I just want to kind of throw that before picture up. And why she's in the news is because one of her implants popped, and I'm not sure why this is in the news, but it is that she kind of dubbed herself the Uniboob Queen, and there she is with like just one boob. I don't even know what oh to say. God. I don't even know what to say about that. You can kind of see the one, the right one's kind of deflated there, you know, in the bottom. It'd be the bottom left of the picture if you're looking at it. Her right, our left as you're looking. I think one of those is reversed. Yeah, it is, because her arm is, her tattooed arm is. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, so she, so, and, but she kind of has embraced this title as the Uniboob Queen. And so like social media is just kind of like lit up about her, like, you know, cause she has all these like accounts and, and, she, and not just one, she has multiple. Cause I think the stuff she posts is kind of, you know, borderline appropriate. So every once in a while, one of her accounts will go down. So she's got some backups or whatever. Ah, I don't believe that. <laughs> it's probably not inappropriate at all. <laughs> yeah, no, no, totally above totally, board. Totally, totally There's totally shadow banning. For sure. Dude, it's my daughter's favorite Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, so she was on social media, like talking about this and, you know, sh should I take them out or should I keep it? Should I stay a uniboob? So I have a little video of her, of her talking. Can you roll, roll that, Ziggy? Guys, so this is my boob now. <sighs> so I haven't been very active on this account because I've been on my other account. So I will post that below in my caption, but yeah, basically my breast implant popped again and I am having surgery to take them out next week. I am going to go back natural, not just my boob, but other parts of my body. Or should I just keep it like this? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. I think I, we're all at a loss for words. I know, it's just every one of us is just speechless. Where it's like, just, I feel like when people get to the point of getting too much plastic surgery, they just look uncomfortable. Yeah, she does Like, she just, it just looks so... I mean, if it makes her happy, whatever, but still, like... Right, yeah, and, and we all, we'll, I, we will kind of talk about that. Um, so... So, of course, you know, know, social media is like erupting, you know, with like all everyone wants to put in their two cents. Of right. Course. Some people are like just like we are. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just like us. So some people are really supportive. Other people are like, you know, 
dismissive, feel bad about her, whatever. And, you know, people are bringing up, you know, whether she not she has body dysmorphic disorder. And I'm going to weigh in on that in a second. But she actually addressed that. And there's one more video, Ziggy. Right, roll it. Yeah, it's her talking about body dysmorphic. I don't think, I always hear that, like, people want to diagnose me online with bipolar disorder or body dysmorphia or whatever. And simply, I just like that plastic look. There's, like, a whole community online of bimbification and people who enjoy that look, and I just happen to like it. And now I don't hate the look. It's just I'm going for something different. I don't think it's a mental illness. I think it's a hobby. It's like an extreme sport. I just went overboard with this extreme sport. So I mean, at least she admitted it. I know, right? She, she, she literally I, said, I went, I went overboard. overboard. I went overboard. So, um, yeah, so I want to talk about the medical, you know, standpoint of this and like, you know, what exactly has gone down. So, so obviously those are saline implants because you can't get a silicone implant that big. In fact, you can't get like a real saline implant that big. You know, they have to be like these specially made ones, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that, you know, you get from a respectable like implant company like Mentor Allergan. They only go up to 800. And I can tell you because I actually have treated a patient just like her which is a whole other story, but I'll, I'll dive into a little bit of it. But those are probably 5,000 to 6,000 cc's, okay? Like the usual implants I use in surgery are about 250 to 400 cc's. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're talking about an implant that's like 15 times bigger than like kind of the large size of implant that I use. And I said it has to be saline. And that's why when it ruptures, it just goes flat. Your I, body- I just wonder how- how she had enough skin in the first place to have so that. That's a great question. So gra they usually will gradually just increase over time. Like they'll start out with like, you know, maybe a C cup or D cup, then they get double Ds and then they get E's and then they get G's. And now what is she a J? I think I said, which, I mean, that's all made up anyway, because there's not any way to like really measure like that far down the alphabet. Yeah. Um, but that's the way they do it I'm is they keep like, getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and, um, you know, as I, saw, I saw a very similar case and, you know, the girl that I saw was basically the implant got so large that it was breaking down her skin. Like, you know, it was just too big. And I need to like reach out to that lady because she was really nice and she might let me use her video because I have some great video that I took just like for the medical record, you know, of her. And I have a picture of me putting a light up against her breast and like it lights up like a globe because it's her, her skin's so thin uh -huh. and it's just saline. So it like it literally lights up like a lantern, you know, Lord. it's crazy. And you know, I had to take both of her implants out. Yeah. And, and, and so when that girl, Mary Magdalene was mentioning, she wants to go back to normal. That's super hard to do because your skin is so stretched She's out. It's going to have a lot of... I mean, uh, it's, it's a nightmare to try. I mean, you can like take them out and you could get the wound closed. But man, if you want it to look normal, I mean, that is, I mean, probably well, she's the, probably just going to have to get like normal sized breasts, right, yeah. like a D or like a double yeah. D. I mean, but the problem is I just worry about what it's going to look like because you have all that skin. You're going to have to take it all up. You know, you don't want to lose the nipple areola. So yeah, know. it seemed like she was also going to take out her, her butt. Yeah. I'm sure she has butt implants. Uh, yeah. yeah like, her legs look like, yeah. Uh, compared to her waist or like compared yeah. to her her hips they were like yeah. completely well i mean i i feel really bad for her because i kind of think that you know she's realized that maybe she should not go down this road and and oh going back to like the body dysmorphia i i personally this is just what i think i don't know every detail about her i would suspect that she kind of figured out that there's a niche on things like only only fans for people that have like these extreme body dimensions there really is like that's a thing that was the girl that i took care of was in a had a very similar gig where she was known for having these giant giant breasts and she you know it was like her career mm -hmm. and so i kind of figured that this girl mary magdalene you know um i hope i'm saying that name right i feel sorry mary if i'm pronouncing your name wrong I isn't that isn't that from the bible mary, mary magdalene, magdalene. What's Magdalene? M -A -G. Mag Mary Magdalene, I think, was the... From the Bible. It's Jesus' yeah. his mom, right? Or no? No, it was, uh, it was, his, it was his girlfriend. Oh, right. Okay. Or something. I'm not a biblical scholar. Ziggy, can you weigh in on this? I, I can. So okay, good. Thank in, you. Thank um, you. In, in the Gospels, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Mary Magdalene was a, uh, as a polite term, a woman of the evening. Oh, right. That, yes, but she was uh, Jesus', Jesus friend. befriended. Okay. Um, and she right. repented and uh, became one of his followers. And as that's right. So that no, wasn't his said, mom. Yeah. Um, that was Mary. 
Yeah, but Mary, yeah, Mary was the, There's the Virgin Mary, Mary and there's uh, okay. Mary Magdalene, yeah. Sorry if I offended like like a whole swath of people. I I got mixed up. I, it's been a while since I, you know, was in Sunday school. It happens, it happens. You know, it's, it's, it's just common. <laughs> so many topics today. So many topics. So many Marys. Today. Let's talk about religion. No. Okay, all right. So <laughs> oh, how did we even get on that? Oh, we were talking about Mary. Mary Magdalene. Yeah, right. Mary Magdalene. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, I feel like that she kind of like got into this niche, right? And she's like, oh, well, people like this. Let me take it to the next step, take it to the next step, take it to the next step. And then you just get to a point where, I mean, you're too far gone. And I mean, I feel bad for her because it's going to be really hard to reverse all. It's not going to be hard to reverse it. It's going to be hard to reverse it and make it look acceptable to what I would. You know, yeah. Well, I